Matias Renga with Guitar Control, and today you're going to be learning how to incorporate dominant licks into a minor scale situation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and remember to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Let's get down to it. All right, so we're going to be checking out um, how to add dominant scales when improvising over a minor chord. This is going to be very interesting. So we got um, a D minor progression, right? Or just a D, D minor vamp, it's fine. And uh, you can, the, the idea of this is to start playing on D minor or D Dorian or D minor pentatonic and in between lines to add a dominant chord in, in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to have the fifth. But we're not going to add the mixolydian, which will be like the obvious choice. We're going to add a different scale. Okay, we're going to add the altar scale. So for that, I'm going to show you what I was playing. So for that, for, of, for those of you who don't know the altar scale, uh, you're going to start on, um, if you start on the fifth fret for the A altar scale, we're going to go fifth, six, eight, then we go to the next string and we go fourth, six, Eight, next string, seven, uh, five, seven, and then you repeat that. So, so for that, what we're going to do, we're going to create a lick that I was playing, which is this one. sounds incredible if you use it in between a, a, a D minor or D minor pentatonic line. So it's like almost as if you're going like... Right? And um, this could also work with the mixolydian scale, of course, but right now we're using the altar because it's cooler, right? So remember, the idea of this is to add dominant chords that would resolve normally to D minor or to the chord that you're using. So we're using D minor and we're trying to add the A7 altered scale, okay? But also, because that's the fifth, right? Also you could use the substitute, substitute, and you could use this one, which has the Lydian flat seven. So you could be playing like, and bring the Lydian flat scale there. And go like, Right? So it's like... And it works incredibly well. So for all of you who don't know the Lydian uh, flat 7 scale, very simple. Lydian is the fourth degree of a major scale. So if you start playing C, you play all the notes of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You're going to get, if you start on F, you're going to get F... G, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's a Lydian scale. Right? And if you lower the seventh, the seventh note, you put it as a flat, you lower it one step, you get a Lydian flat seven. Now we're going to play it here. So here's the thing. When you play a dominant chord, uh, one half step above the chord that you're trying to go, that's considered a substitute dominant. So, for example, if you're going um, something like... Right, so I was playing like D minor, G minor, and then I was playing D sharp 7, and then D minor. This one is going to get a, a lead in flat 7, so... So that's another one to use. So anyway, going back to this A alter scale, you, the, the lick that I was playing, we're going to go, you could use the alter scale, and we're going to go like this. We're going to use a little bit of passing tones in there. So we're going to go... So we're going to start on the ninth fret, go down to the 8th, to the 7th, to the 6th, and then to the 5th, and then come around to the 6th and pull off. So... So... Okay? 
Then we're gonna go into this. We're gonna go into the second string, and we're gonna play the um, um, eighth fret, then back to the first string with the fifth fret. Got it. And we're gonna go into the sixth fret of the second string. Okay. Then sixth fret again of the third string and pull it down to pull it off to a fifth fret. Right? Then we're gonna go into the eighth fret of the fourth string. Then again you play with that one right there. See how you do? You play the eighth fret of the fourth string and then you play the fifth of the third. It's like you go back. Right? And then at the end, we play the seventh of the fourth, the eighth of the fifth, and then finish on the D again. So, and you don't even have to finish there. If you're brave, you could just like connect it with the uh, D sharp seven, you know, a leading flat seven. So you could, I don't know. that right faster maybe but anyway if you're playing like really cool lines and... and something like that but yeah keep it in mind come up with your own licks you know um um this one is a cool one that i play a lot but you got the scales, altered scale, mixolydian scale, lydian flat seven. Explore them and uh, come up with your own licks. And uh, remember, very simple rule, just the fifth of the chord that you are playing or half step above the chord that you're playing. And you play those scales and you resolve to that one. But the chord, the bass player or keyboard, whatever they're playing, they're playing the D minor, right? While you're going into all these crazy scales, right? It's gonna sound great, trust me. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and that now you're able to incorporate dominant licks into your playing. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons and remember to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Also, I would love to know what's your favorite scale to play on guitar. Leave your answer down below as a comment. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get better at guitar, click on any of these videos on the screen for awesome guitar lessons.